Alright, uh, hey guys, um, in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to update some offsets and port them from one game to another. So, I have about three which I'll be showing you how to update from Black Ops 2, TU12, to TU13. Alright, so first one is Debarget Bull. Um, as you can see, here it is. So, when you are updating an offset, there's a few things you have to um, keep in mind. <clears throat> so first of all, you cannot choose something which references a... Um, you can't choose this because it references um, a point in memory. And if you were to search for this in the new update, it wouldn't be the same. So it wouldn't reference here. I mean, it would reference here, but this address would be a different address than you want it to be. Um, next, you're going to want to search for something which only occurs once in the file that you're looking for. So, I'll show you how to do it here, and then, yeah, I'll show you a couple other ones. So, first of all, we're going to look through here and say, alright, this top part probably occurs more than once because it's just setting up the, um, the parameters and seeing if... Um, R3 is equal to 0, and if it is, then we go down here, because it, if it's not, then we go down here. So, what we're really going to focus on is this bottom part here, so we could either take this, or we could take up here. Um, so, what you're going to want to do to do a binary search is click on where you want to start. So, we're going to go under this branch if not equal, so we're going to where the load byte and 0 is, and then we're going to click up here at hex view. So now we can see all this, alright? So we're going to want to highlight, each one of these is one operation, so I think it was three. So we'll do three and then copy that. Alright, now we are going to go to our um, TU13, which is right here, and just go to the beginning of here and click Alt-B, which will bring up this thing for binary search. Okay, make sure search down is checked. Um, you can either put find all occurrences on or off. Um, if you don't put it on, it will just find the first one. So we're going to paste this in here, and we're going to click OK. So it'll search through the XEX, and it finds here. So we're just going to make sure there's no other references to it by hitting Control B, which searches again. So here we found the function that we're looking for. So now let's do some comparing of, yeah, let's compare them together and make sure it's the right function. So as you can see, sorry, as you can see up here, it looks about the same. Um, another thing we can check is the length. So it's, oh, it's um, 60 bytes, so that's the same. Um, this bottom part's identical. So we know we found our function, so what we can do is we can label it. So we can go in here and press N to rename address. That's our TU12. Right. Press N to label the address. Put it in there, and there we go. It's labeled. So now I'm going to be showing you another one. So just to show you that this works consistently. So next will be HUD LM malloc. So we'll jump here, and as we can see, um, this top part is not going to be very interesting to us. I mean, we could search for some stuff here, and I'm sure we could find it, but generally it's more, it's easier here to search for loading bytes, storing bytes, and floats, and stuff like that. So, um, we can pick one of these. Um, I'll just start here and go into our hex view, and then however many you think is right. So I'll just do three, and hopefully, um we will get the right address. So, here's our TU13. Once again, we're going to go into our binary search, paste our um, hexadecimal string in there, and search down. So, hopefully it finds it. I already have it labeled, but yeah. It finds it here, and um, here's our address. So, I already know this is right, but ways to check is I believe if you right click and then you go 
uh, xrefs2, it will generate a chart. Here we go. And uh, so it'll show all the things which branch to the address. And then, just if we wanted to make sure, we could go xrefs2 here. And if we have the right address, which we do, they will be identical. So, as you can see, there's four things branching to it, and if we wanted to, we could go more in depth with that. Alright, um, so the next thing I'm going to be showing you is how to update, like, a byte, or, I don't know if it's, like, a byte, but, like, the start of a struct. So, I picked client S, so here we go, and what we're going to want to do here is, as you can see, it's a little different. So, can't really search for anything here, because nothing would come up, but if we press X, it will bring up the xrefs to it. And xrefs are the occurrences in the actual file of this, linking to this address, so referencing the address. So, we can just pick one of these, which we think will work, and so now, as we can see here, I selected this code to search for. So, it's right under our actual address that we're going to find. And it doesn't link to any, um, like, other addresses, or branch to any other addresses. So, let's we'll take some of this and go into our T13 and Alt-B, bring up our binary search, paste that in there, and go ahead and search for it. Alright, so we found this here. Um, we're going to make sure there's no other occurrences of it. So, awesome, there's not. Um, so, we know this right here is our actual address. So, we can jump to here. Um, yeah. And, yeah. It's actually... Oh, no, no, I thought, I thought it was the same, but... No, it's, no, it's a little different, but... Ways to make sure is... You bring up all the xrefs, and if they look about the same number, you see the scroll box about the same, so it's one way to check. Also, you can go into another function and look at it that way, but I'm just going to rename this client s. So, that's done. And um, now we'll get into porting offsets from our COD4 PHP. And here it is. So, if you've ever looked at the COD4 PHP, um, it's good. But if you haven't, I'd recommend doing that because it has all of our labeled functions in here. All right. So I'm going to be showing you a couple ways of doing this. So first one is to search for by string. Now this isn't very um, a very good way of doing it, but um, it works if you want to find an offset fast, so I'll be showing you uh, HECMD scale over time. So, what's so interesting about this is, so if we look at it, it's just setting up the thing, if it's checking if it's an actual element. Um, we're not going to use this string because this, as you can see, happens multiple times. But we're going to scroll down here and see um, this part. So it says scale over time g is less than or equal to zero. Okay. So what this means is we can this string probably occurs in our uh, our other like CX. So we can go into view, subviews, and strings right here. And it'll take a little bit to load. I already have it loaded up, but it will show all of our strings that are in the actual file. So, we're going to search for scale, time, and as you can see right here, um, scale time is less than or, or equal to zero. So we can jump to here. Awesome. So, the string's in here. So now we can click X, which shows all our X references and just use one of these okay so as you can see it occurred twice in the same place that's why there's two 
but they're in the same function, so it's alright. Now, um, as you can see, we can do a little bit more comparing to our COD4, and we scroll down, hold on, I'll make this go halfway. If we scroll down, we can see that um, scale over time is greater than 60, and scale over time is greater than 60 in both files. And then, it's not going to be completely the same as, like, our other one was, but um, then you see branches to this, um, and it branches here, and if we were to look into it, they would actually be the same, All right, and then it does some of this, it's got, as you can see, there's a little, just like, a couple more of lines, because it changes as they add more to the game, um, and just scroll down a little more, and we can see the end of our function, so, we know we found this function, so we're going to label this, um, up here, might already have it labeled, but yeah, I already have it labeled, but okay. So, now that we found that, I'm going to show you the other method, which is similar to the first method of updating offsets, but it's a little bit more difficult and time-consuming, so I will be back with that in a second. Okay, so it was taking me too much time to find a function which I could successfully port without any other functions already mapped out so I'm just going to show you like the way of doing it um, that you will that you should do it so we'll look for just SV game sensor server command and so first of all we're going to look for um, some things that it does like multiplies this doesn't require any like variables that could change within game to game as well as adding. Um, I know for a fact this is the same as it is in every game. Or we could go for comparing and branching. So those are two things to look for. Um, what you would do is you'd go into here and search for it and go into your um, game that you want to update it to and just do the same method as we did before. And um, if you're not searching for something very specific, you'll get loads of results. But um, eventually, if you keep looking through and comparing the results, you will find um, the offset that you're looking for. Um, another thing you can do is if you're looking for, say, SV Send Server Command and there's nothing you can really search for in it, you can go one above it and or one below it because they are all in a linear pattern and maybe search for something um, from that function and look for it but this is a very um, it's like it's a trial out of times before you can get it right and um, I just couldn't get it today so I may make another video showing you how to do this better. Um, I, it's more of a like, skill. The more you do it, the better you get. And um, honestly, the more of the uh, XCX which you have mapped out, the easier it is. But just from a mapping sense, like we could look for a string for SVSend server command and probably find it that way. Also, we can compare the length and some other things, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and please tell me what you want me to do in the future. Alright, see ya.